A gyrocompass is a type of non-magnetic compass which is based on a fast spinning disk and the rotation of the Earth or another planetary body if used elsewhere in the universe to find geographical direction automatically. The use of a gyrocompass is one of the seven fundamental ways to determine the heading of a vehicle. Although one important component of a gyrocompass is a gyroscope, these are not the same devices. A gyrocompass is built to use the effect of gyroscopic precession, which is a distinctive aspect of the general gyroscopic effect. Gyrocompasses are widely used for navigation on ships, because they have two significant advantages over magnetic compasses. They find true north as determined by the axis of the Earth's rotation, which is different from, and navigationally more useful than, magnetic north, and they are unaffected by ferromagnetic materials, such as in a ship steel hull, which distort the magnetic field. Aircraft commonly use gyroscopic instruments, but not a gyrocompass, for navigation and attitude monitoring. For details, see flight instruments and gyroscopic autopilot. Topic: <laughs> Operation. A gyroscope, not to be confused with gyrocompass, is a spinning wheel mounted on a set of gimbals so that its axis is free to orient itself in any way. When it is spun up to speed with its axis pointing in some direction, due to the law of conservation of angular momentum, such a wheel will normally maintain its original orientation to a fixed point in outer space not to a fixed point on Earth. Since our planet rotates, it appears to a stationary observer on Earth that a gyroscope's axis is completing a full rotation once every 24 hours. Such a rotating gyroscope is used for navigation in some cases, for example on aircraft, where it is known as heading indicator or directional gyro, but cannot ordinarily be used for long-term marine navigation. The crucial additional ingredient needed to turn a gyroscope into a gyrocompass, so it would automatically position to true north, is some mechanism that results in an application of torque whenever the compass's axis is not pointing north. One method uses friction to apply the needed torque. The gyroscope in a gyrocompass is not completely free to reorient itself. If, for instance, a device connected to the axis is immersed in a viscous fluid, then that fluid will resist reorientation of the axis. This friction force caused by the fluid results in a torque acting on the axis, causing the axis to turn in a direction orthogonal to the torque that is, to process along a line of longitude. Once the axis points toward the celestial pole, it will appear to be stationary and won't experience any more frictional forces. This is because true north or true south is the only direction for which the gyroscope can remain on the surface of the Earth and not be required to change. This axis orientation is considered to be a point of minimum potential energy. Another, more practical, method is to use weights to force the axis of the compass to remain horizontal perpendicular to the direction of the center of the Earth, but otherwise allow it to rotate freely within the horizontal plane. In this case, gravity will apply a torque forcing the compass's axis toward true north. Because the weights will confine the compass's axis to be horizontal with respect to the Earth's surface, the axis can never align with the Earth's axis except on the equator and must realign itself as the Earth rotates. But with respect to the Earth's surface, the compass will appear to be stationary and pointing along the Earth's surface toward the true north pole. Since the gyrocompass's north-seeking function depends on the rotation around the axis of the Earth that causes torque-induced gyroscopic precession, it will not orient itself correctly to true north if it is moved very fast in an east-to-west direction, thus negating the Earth's rotation. 
However, aircraft commonly use heading indicators or directional gyros, which are not gyrocompasses and do not align themselves to north via precession, but are periodically aligned manually to magnetic north. Mathematical <laughs> <laughs> model <laughs> 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 We consider a gyrocompass as a gyroscope which is free to rotate about one of its symmetry axes, also the whole rotating gyroscope is free to rotate on the horizontal plane about the local vertical. Therefore there are two independent local rotations. In addition to these rotations we consider the rotation of the Earth about its north-south axis, and we model the planet as a perfect sphere. We neglect friction and also the rotation of the Earth about the Sun. In this case a non-rotating observer located at the center of the Earth can be approximated as being an inertial frame. We establish Cartesian coordinates x 1 y 1 z 1 Display style text style x underscore one y underscore one z underscore one for such an observer whom we name as one o and the barycenter of the gyroscope is located at a distance r display style r from the center of the Earth. Topic. First time dependent rotation Let us consider another non -inertial observer the 2O located at the center of the Earth but rotating about the NS axis by Omega Display style text style Omega We establish coordinates attached to this observer as X two Y two Z two equals cos Omega T sin Omega T zero minus sin Omega T cos Omega T zero 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 one x one y one Z one display style left begin array C x underscore two Y underscore two Z underscore two end array right equals left begin array C C C cause Omega T and sin Omega T and zero sin Omega T and cause Omega T and zero zero and zero and one end array right left begin array C x underscore one Y underscore one Z underscore one end array right so that the unit x carrot one display style hat x underscore one versa x one equals one y one equals zero z one equals zero t display style x underscore one equals one y underscore one equals zero z underscore one equals zero carrot t is mapped to the point x two equals cos omega t y two equals minus Minus sin omega t z two equals zero t display style x underscore two equals cos omega t y underscore two equals sin omega t z underscore two equals zero carrot t. For the two o, neither the Earth nor the barycenter of the gyroscope is moving. The rotation of two o relative to one o is performed with angular velocity omega equals zero zero Omega T Display style VEC Omega equals zero zero Omega carrot T. We suppose that the X two 
Display style x underscore two axis denotes points with zero longitude, the prime or Greenwich meridian. Topic: Second and third fixed rotations. We now rotate about the z two. Display style text style z underscore two axis so that the x three display style text style x underscore three axis has the longitude of the barycenter. In this case, we have x three y three z. 3 equals cos phi sin phi 0 minus sin phi cos phi 0 0 0 1 x 2 Y two Z two Display style left begin array C X underscore three Y underscore three Z underscore three end array right equals left begin array C C C cos phi and sin phi and zero sin phi and cos phi and zero zero and zero and one end array right left begin array C X underscore two Y underscore two Z underscore two end array Right with the next rotation about the axis y three display style text style y underscore three of an angle delta display style text style delta the colatitude we bring the z three display style text style z underscore three axis along the local zenith z four display style text style z underscore four axis of the barycenter. This can be achieved by the following orthogonal matrix with unit determinant x 4 y 4 z 4 equals cos delta 0 minus sin delta 0 1 Zero sin delta zero cos delta x three y three Z three display style left begin array C X underscore four Y underscore four Z underscore four end array right equals left begin array C C C cos delta and zero and sin delta zero and one and zero sin delta and zero and cos delta end array right left begin array C X underscore three Y underscore three Z underscore Score three end array right so that the z carrot three display style text style hat z underscore three versa x three equals zero y three equals zero z three equals one t display style text style x underscore three equals zero y underscore three equals zero z underscore three equals one carrot t is mapped to the point x four equals minus sin delta Y four equals zero, Z four equals cos delta T display style text style x underscore four equals sin delta Y underscore four equals zero, Z underscore four equals cos delta carrot T. Topic Constant translation. We now choose another coordinate basis whose origin is located at the barycenter of the gyroscope. This can be performed by the following translation along the zenith axis 
x 5 y 5 z 5 equals x 4 y 4 z 4 minus 0 0 r Display style left begin array C x underscore five Y underscore five Z underscore five end array right equals left begin array C x underscore four Y underscore four Z underscore four end array right left begin array C zero zero R end array right so that the origin of the new system X Five equals zero Y five equals zero Z five equals zero T Display style x underscore five equals zero, y underscore five equals zero, z underscore five equals zero, carrot t is located at the point x four equals zero, y four equals zero, z four equals R T Display style x underscore four equals zero, y underscore four equals zero, z underscore four equals R carrot T and R Display style R is the radius of the Earth. Now the x five Display style x underscore five axis points towards the south direction. Topic Fourth time dependent rotation. Now we rotate about the zenith Z five Display style Z underscore five Axis so that the new coordinate system is attached to the structure of the gyroscope, so that for an observer at rest in this coordinate system, the gyrocompass is only rotating about its own axis of symmetry. In this case, we find x 6 y 6 z 6 equals cos alpha sin alpha 0 minus sin alpha cos alpha 0 0 0 1 x 5 y 5 z 5 display style left begin array c x underscore 6 y underscore 6 z underscore 6 end array right equals left begin array c c c cos alpha and sin alpha and 0 sin alpha and cos alpha and 0 0 and 0 and 1 end array right left begin array c x underscore 5 y underscore 5 5 z underscore 5 end array right the axis of symmetry of the gyrocompass is now along the x6 display style x underscore 6 axis topic last time dependent rotation The last rotation is a rotation on the axis of symmetry of the gyroscope as in x 7 y 7 z 
7 equals 1 0 0 0 cos psi sin psi 0 minus sin psi cos psi x 6 y 6 Z six display style left begin array C X underscore seven Y underscore seven Z underscore seven end array right equals left begin array C C C one and zero and zero zero and cos psi and sin psi zero and sin psi and cos psi end array right left begin array C X underscore six Y underscore six Z underscore six end array right. Topic Dynamics of the system Since the height of the gyroscope's barycenter does not change and the origin of the coordinate system is located at this same point, its gravitational potential energy is constant. Therefore its Lagrangian L display style mathcal L corresponds to its kinetic energy k display style k only we have L equals k equals 1 2 omega t I Omega plus one two M V C M two Display style mathcal L equals K equals frac one two VEC Omega carrot T I VEC Omega plus frac one two M VEC V underscore room CM carrot two where M Display style M is the mass of the gyroscope V C M two equals Omega two R two sin two delta equals C O N S T A N T Display style VEC V underscore room CM carrot two equals Omega carrot two R carrot two sin carrot two delta equals room constant is the squared inertial speed of the origin of the coordinates of the final coordinate system, i.e. the center of mass. This constant term does not affect the dynamics of the gyroscope and it can be neglected. On the other hand, the tensor of inertia is given by I equals I one O I two O O I two display style I equals left begin array C C C I underscore one and zero and zero zero and I underscore two and zero zero and zero and I underscore two end array right and omega equals one O O cos psi sin psi Zero minus sin psi cos psi psi zero zero plus one zero 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 cos psi sin psi 0 minus sin psi cos psi 
cos alpha sin alpha 0 minus sin alpha cos alpha 0 0 0 1 0 0 alpha plus 1 0 0 0 cos psi sin psi 0 minus sin psi cos psi cos alpha sin alpha 0 minus sin alpha cos alpha 0 0 0 1 cos delta 0 minus sin delta 0 1 0 sin delta 0 cos delta cos phi sin phi 0 minus sin phi cos phi 0 0 0 1 times cos omega t sin omega t 0 minus sin omega t cos omega t 0 0 0 1 0 0 omega equals psi 0 0 plus 0 alpha sin psi alpha cos psi plus minus omega sin delta cos alpha omega sin delta sin alpha cos psi plus cos delta sin psi omega minus sin delta sin alpha sin psi plus cos delta cos psi display style begin aligned vec omega and equals left begin array ccc 1 and 0 and 0 0 and cos psi and sin psi 0 and sin psi and cos psi end array right left begin array c dot psi 0 0 end array right plus Left begin array CCC one and zero and zero zero and cos psi and sin psi zero and sin psi and cos psi end array right left begin array CCC cos alpha and sin alpha and zero sin alpha and cos alpha and zero zero and zero and one end array right left begin array C zero zero dot alpha end 
and array right and plus left begin array CCC one and zero and zero zero and cos psi and sin psi zero and sin psi and cos psi end array right left begin array CCC cos alpha and sin alpha and zero sin alpha and cos alpha and zero zero and zero and one end array right left begin array CCC cos delta and zero and sin delta zero and one and zero sin delta and zero and cos delta end array right left begin array CCC cos phi and sin phi and zero sin phi and cos phi and zero zero and zero and one end array right and times left begin array CCC cos omega t and sin omega t and zero sin omega t and cos omega t and zero zero and zero and one end array right left begin array c zero zero omega end array right and equals left begin array c dot psi zero zero end array right plus left begin array c zero dot alpha sin psi dot alpha cos psi end array right plus left begin array c omega sin delta cos alpha omega sin delta sin alpha cos psi plus cos delta sin psi omega sin delta sin alpha sin psi plus cos delta cos psi end array right end aligned therefore we find l equals 1 2 i 1 omega 1 2 plus i 2 omega 2 2 plus omega 3 2 equals 1 2 i 1 Psi minus Omega Sin Delta Cos Alpha two plus one two I two Alpha Sin Psi plus Omega sin delta sin alpha cos psi plus cos delta sin psi two plus alpha cos psi plus Omega minus sin delta sin alpha sin psi plus cos delta cos psi two equals one two I one Psi minus Omega Sin Delta Cos Alpha two plus one two I two Alpha two plus Omega two cos two delta plus sin two alpha sin two delta plus two alpha omega cos 
delta display style begin aligned mathcal l and equals frac 1 2 i underscore 1 omega underscore 1 carrot 2 plus i underscore 2 omega underscore 2 carrot 2 plus omega underscore 3 carrot 2 and equals frac 1 2 i underscore 1 dot psi omega sin delta cos alpha carrot 2 plus frac 1 2 i I underscore two dot alpha sin psi plus omega sin delta sin alpha cos psi plus cos delta sin psi carrot two plus dot alpha cos psi plus omega sin delta sin alpha sin psi plus cos delta cos psi carrot two and equals frac one two I underscore one dot psi omega sin delta cos alpha Carrot two plus frac one two I underscore two dot alpha carrot two plus omega carrot two cos carrot two delta plus sin carrot two alpha sin carrot two delta plus two dot alpha omega cos delta end aligned The Lagrangian can be rewritten as L equals L one plus one two I two Omega two cos two delta plus D D T I two alpha Omega cos delta display style mathcal l equals mathcal l underscore 1 plus frac 1 2 i underscore 2 omega carrot 2 cos carrot 2 delta plus frac d dt i underscore 2 alpha omega cos delta where l 1 equals 1 2 i 1 psi minus omega sin delta cos alpha 2 plus 1 2 i 2 alpha 2 plus omega 2 sin 2 alpha sin 2 delta Display style mathcal L underscore one equals frac one two I underscore one dot psi omega sin delta cos alpha carrot two plus frac one two I underscore two dot alpha carrot two plus omega carrot two sin carrot two alpha sin carrot two delta is the part of the Lagrangian responsible for the dynamics of the system. Then, since L one psi equals zero, display style partial mathcal L underscore one partial psi equals zero, we find L x L one psi equals I one psi minus omega sin delta cos alpha equals C O N S T A N T 
Display style L underscore x equivalent frac partial mathcal L underscore one partial dot psi equals I underscore one dot psi omega sin delta cos alpha equals mathrum constant. Since the angular momentum L display style VEC L of the gyro compass is given by L equals I Omega Display style VEC L equals I VEC Omega We see that the constant L X Display style L underscore X is the component of the angular momentum about the axis of symmetry. Furthermore, we find the equation of motion for the variable alpha display style alpha as d d t l one alpha equals l one alpha Display style frac d d t left frac partial mathcal l underscore one partial dot alpha right equals frac partial mathcal l underscore one partial alpha or i two alpha equals i one omega psi Minus Omega Sin delta cos alpha sin delta sin alpha plus one two I two omega two sin two delta sin two alpha equals L x omega sin delta sin alpha plus one two I two omega two sin two delta sin two alpha display style begin aligned I underscore two D D O T alpha and equals I underscore one omega dot psi omega sin delta cos alpha sin delta sin Alpha plus frac one two I underscore two Omega carrot two sin carrot two delta sin two alpha and equals L underscore x Omega sin delta sin alpha plus frac one two I underscore two Omega carrot two sin carrot two delta sin two alpha end aligned Topic particular case: the poles at the poles we find sin delta equals zero, display style sin delta equals zero, and the equations of motion become L x equals i one psi equals c o n s t a n t i two alpha equals zero, display style begin aligned L underscore x and equals i underscore one dot psi equals mathrm constant i underscore two d d o t alpha and and equals zero end aligned. This simple solution implies that the gyroscope is uniformly rotating with constant angular velocity in both the vertical and symmetrical axis. Topic: The general and physically relevant case. Let us suppose now that sin delta does not equal zero. Display style sin delta n e q zero, and that alpha approximately equals zero. Display style alpha approximately zero. That is, the axis of the gyroscope is approximately along the north-south line, and let us find the parameter space, if it exists, for which the system admits stable small oscillations about this same line. If this situation occurs, the gyroscope will always be approximately aligned along the north-south line, giving direction. 
In this case we find Lx approximately equals I1 psi minus omega sin delta, I2 alpha approximately equals Lx omega sin delta plus I2 omega 2 sin 2 delta alpha, display style begin aligned L underscore X and approximately I underscore 1 dot psi omega sin delta, I underscore 2 ddot alpha and approximately L underscore X Omega sin delta plus I underscore two Omega carrot two sin carrot two delta alpha end aligned let us consider the case that lx0 display style l underscore x and further we allow for fast gyro rotations that is psi omega display style dot psi gg omega therefore for fast spinning rotations lx0 display style l underscore x implies psi 0 display style dot psi in this case, the equations of motion further simplify to Lx approximately equals minus I1, psi, approximately equals constant, I2 alpha approximately equals minus I1, psi, omega sin delta alpha, display style begin aligned L underscore x and approximately I underscore 1 dot psi, approximately mathrum constant, I underscore 2 ddot alpha alpha and approximately i underscore 1 dot psi omega sin delta alpha end aligned therefore we find small oscillations about the north south line as alpha approximately equals a sin omega tilde t plus B display style alpha approximately a sin tilde omega t plus b, where the angular velocity of this harmonic motion of the axis of symmetry of the gyro compass about the north south line is given by omega tilde equals i one sin delta I two psi omega display style tilde omega equals sqrt frac i underscore one sin delta i underscore two sqrt dot psi omega, which corresponds to a period for the oscillations given by t equals two pi psi omega i 2 i 1 sin delta display style t equals frac 2 pi sqrt dot psi omega sqrt frac i underscore 2 i underscore 1 sin delta therefore omega tilde display style tilde omega is proportional to the geometric mean of the earth and spinning angular velocities in order to have small oscillations we have required psi 0 display style dot psi so that the north is located along the right hand rule direction of the spinning axis that is along the negative direction of the x7 display style x underscore 7 axis the axis of symmetry as a side result on measuring t display style t and knowing psi display style dot psi one can deduce the local co-latitude delta display style delta topic history the first not yet practical form of gyro compass was patented in 1885 by Marinus Gerardus van den Bos a usable gyro compass was invented in 1906 in Germany by Hermann Anschutz Kaempf, and after successful tests in 1908 became widely used in the German Imperial Navy. Hermann Anschutz Kaempf founded the company Anschutz & Co., which started in Kiel, Germany the mass production of gyro compasses. The company is today Raytheon Anschutz GmbH. 
The gyrocompass was an important invention for nautical navigation because it allowed accurate determination of a vessel's location at all times regardless of the vessel's motion, the weather and the amount of steel used in the construction of the ship. In the United States, Elmer Ambrose Sperry produced a workable gyrocompass system, 1908, patent number 1242065 and founded the Sperry Gyroscope Company. The unit was adopted by the U.S. Navy 1911, and played a major role in World War I. The Navy also began using Sperry's Metal Mike, the first gyroscope guided autopilot steering system. In the following decades, these and other Sperry devices were adopted by steamships such as the RMS Queen Mary, airplanes, and the warships of World War II. After his death in 1930, the Navy named the USS Sperry after him. Meanwhile, in 1913, C. Plath, a Hamburg, Germany-based manufacturer of navigational equipment including sextants and magnetic compasses, developed the first gyrocompass to be installed on a commercial vessel. C. Plath sold many gyrocompasses to the Weems School for Navigation in Annapolis, MD, and soon the founders of each organization formed an alliance and became Weems and Plath. Before the success of the gyrocompass, several attempts had been made in Europe to use a gyroscope instead. By 1880, William Thompson Lord Kelvin tried to propose a gyrostat tope to the British Navy. In 1889, Arthur Krebs adapted an electric motor to the Dumoulin Froment Marine Gyroscope, for the French Navy. That gave the Gymnote submarine the ability to keep a straight line while underwater for several hours, and it allowed her to force a naval block in 1890. In 1923 Max Schuler published his paper containing his observation that if a gyrocompass possessed Schuler tuning such that it had an oscillation period of 84.4 minutes which is the orbital period of a notional satellite orbiting around the Earth at sea level, then it could be rendered insensitive to lateral motion and maintain directional stability. <laughs> Errors A gyrocompass is subject to certain errors. These include steaming error, where rapid changes in course, speed and latitude cause deviation before the gyro can adjust itself. On most modern ships the GPS or other navigational aids feed data to the gyrocompass allowing a small computer to apply a correction. Alternatively a design based on a strap-down architecture including a triad of fiber optic gyroscopes, ring laser gyroscopes or hemispherical resonator gyroscopes and a triad of accelerometers will eliminate these errors, as they do not depend upon mechanical parts to determinate rate of rotation. Patents. U.S. Patent 1279471, Gyroscopic Compass, by E. A. Sperry, filed June, 1911, issued September, 1918. See also Acronyms and abbreviations in avionics Heading indicator, also known as direction indicator, a lightweight gyroscope, not a gyrocompass, used on aircraft. HRG gyrocompass, fluxgate compass, fiber optic gyrocompass, inertial navigation system, a more complex system that also incorporates accelerometers. Schuler tuning, binnacle equals equals notes <laughs>